right contract. There is no reason, there is no reason that the city of Oakland can't uh, bargain in good faith. I feel like sometimes I'm working for one of those big banks on Wall Street. You know, the ones who keep making money on your back. And then they forget how they made the money and they want to keep it off. We have unanticipated revenues and yet we told our workers that we couldn't give them a raise. We have money that the mayor has tucked away and yet we told our employees that they need to pay for the health care. We are doing better than we've done in a long time. And we know that one of the reasons that we are where we are today is because our employees, our civilian employees, gave back $122 million. And so for those people in the community who wonder why, Today, our employees who struggle just to get by need us to turn around and give back. Tell them there's 122 million reasons why. There's a song that says, let them hear you. Let them hear you. Let Deanna Santana and the mayor hear you. You're going to continue to press, stay together, stay strong, stay focused. You will prevail. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Brooks. Next we have one of our new council members, Noel Gallo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, welcome to Oakland, California. <laughs> this is my neighborhood. This is my city, this is my responsibility. I join you to 100% to make sure, to make sure that we respect our employees, that we extend our courtesies, that we meet your wage requirements, that we take care of your health benefit. And most of all, I want a safe, clean city and I need you to make that happen. So gracias, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Next. We have SEIU uh, Vice President of Politics, Elizabeth Alexander. So I'd first like to invite all the community groups up to the stage. So Council Husta, come on up here. And we have Ace, we have our Walmart. So we've been saying this is not just a union fight, this is a community fight. We know we're all being screwed by the 1% and we got to stand up together. And so that's why this is a fight for services, this is a fight for justice, this is a fight for our futures. I just want to say these are the people, the organizations that are co-sponsoring our strike. We have Dan Siegel, Walter Riley, Adam and Geraldine Bluford from the Justice for Alan Bluford Coalition. We have the Ellen Boatman's Union, the Hip Hop Congress, ACE, eBase, Women's Economic Agenda Project, the Fight for 15, Occupy Labor Solidarity, our Walmart, East Bay Housing Organization, Apollo, Harvey Milk LGBT Democratic Club, San Francisco Latino Democratic Club, Jobs with Justice, Chinese Progressive Association, the Local 87 Internship Program, Council Who's Just Cause, and uh, Transportation Workers Solidarity Reform, a rank and file group of, of transportation workers, Berkeley Progressives, the Dream Act Dreamers, Bryce Kelly from the Berkeley Dems, and Richmond Progressive Association. Now, that's pretty impressive. My name is Dominic Ware. I'm an Oakland resident and a proud member of our Walmart. You know, uh, let's give it up for the strikers here today. Let's give it up for the people on strike today. For those of you that do not know, our Walmart had just got off of a strike last month. We went on a two-week strike, and we went and made noise in Walmart home office. 
So we know how scary it is to go on strike. We know what, we're, what they're risking by going on strike, but we're here today to stand in solidarity and show them that we're here to support them. We are Workers United and we will not be divided. You know, a, a strike to one is a strike to all. And we are here to support each other, you know? Um, I just like to give a thanks to everybody that's out here, you know, give a, give a round of applause to everybody in the crowd, you know? All the great speakers, you know, we are all in it together, and we're going to win together. You know, um, sad to say, the people that went on strike with all Walmart, we have two sisters that have been fired. But we're, we're fighting every day to get them their jobs back. So what we're doing is scary. It's historical. It's big. It's bigger than me and you. And we're here, we're gonna keep pushing to get changed. Oakland has to do better. I've been here all my life and, and, and it needs to be better. So with us banding together and working together, we will bring about that change. We are fired up and we can't take it no more. We're fired up and we can't take it no more. We're fired up. Can't take it no more. We're fired up. It is an honor to be here this afternoon with you. Uh, eBase has been building uh, alliances between the community, labor, and faith communities for 14 years, so we can have a better and brighter future. Um, we are here to stand in solidarity with these workers. Healthy, healthy and safe communities start with workers who can support their families and be active in their communities outside of work. BART workers are essential to our economy, but they're also essential to our environment. You are frontline environmental workers helping us keep from being dependent on fossil fuels. This is a fight, not just for our city workers and for BART workers, this is a fight for all of us. This is the right fight, we are here to stand with you. Si se puede! 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 for ACE Riders for Transit Justice. You know, I've been hearing a lot in the news from people who don't necessarily represent me that this strike is affecting people of color, low-income people. How you guys feel about that? I don't agree with it, I know that. <laughs> Bus riders, bar riders, you know, low-income people, yeah, we experience bad service a lot. This is nothing new for us, all right? That's why we're here today standing in solidarity with all the workers fighting for funding for um, fair wages, a safe environment, yes. all of that. <laughs> Um, I lost my spot. Okay, so our members will support as long as the fight needs to be. You know, we are here supporting every day as long as it takes. And with that being said, I want to get to the root of the problem. We are constantly allowing the banks and corporations to get over on us. Yeah. BART and MTC alone has lost $312 million to the banks. Waste management is getting $85 million a year from their contract with the city of Oakland. Come on, come on. This money needs to go back to the city. It needs to go back to our public services. It needs to go to our city workers. Head Start, safety, safe public transportation, right? Yeah. That with other monies that the banks are taking is around $1 billion that we need now. Coalition. 